guys, it's Caleb with White Metal Games. It is Friday, Friday uh, October 20th. I haven't done a video last week. I meant to, but I just forgot, so I figured I'd I could catch up this week. So let's dive right in and show you what I've been working on around the workshop. Um, okay, okay. Uh, first off, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to get into fantasy. I've been trying to get into it for a while, and, uh, and I'm working on a Pirate Force of Chosen Army. It's a Vampire Counts Army, but it's a uh, Pirate, pirate Theme. Um, so, so I want to display board for it. I usually start with my uh, desserts first. So, so this is something I had in mind. Um, this display board is based on an MDF surface, and then this is a uh, uh, sort of a trellis that you get at, um, at uh, Home Depot and all those sorts of do-it-yourself stores. Um, the centerpiece, obviously, is a, is a temple of skulls. This one I got cheap on eBay because it was missing a skull piece here, uh, like this, so we replaced it with a Halloween skull. And because it didn't entirely flush up, we had to rebuild the sides and the edge here. But we sort of decided to go with a crumbling facade, both to save on a little gray stuff and to... Uh, you know, give it a little character. Um, currently, currently, the board has a few same things on it. Some sort of pirate displays, like these old sort of ravaged ships. It's got some. Um, if you look over here, it's got some bits, bits of hull from a, a larger ship. It's been, been sunk, um, and then it's also got this floating barrel. Uh, and we also found all these really neat sort of, sort of metal-looking uh, compasses. Um, we're going to top it off by adding in a chest or something up here to make it look like treasure, treasure. and then we're going to do a water effect across the entire board um, using uh, uh, filler. So that'll, so that'll, that'll be nice. Uh, we're thinking about putting some small bits of the island and debris and shipwreck in there so that people will have something to stand on. Um, Anyway, anyway, and there'll be uh, every every unit in the in the army will be either be a pirate unit or it will be represented with something that's sort of um, uh, aquatic themed. So, for example, we're going to use carcass crabs instead of a corpse cart, or we'll use um, a kraken figure instead of like uh, you know whatever whatever. It is. So it'll be it'll be fun. You'll see it. It's coming up. Um, anyway, anyway, that'll be up in the next couple of weeks. Um, one client requested a Parasite of Mortrex, but they went in dragon theme, so I used this young adult red dragon figure, figure uh, and I swapped out a few of the bits there. But this is nothing fancy. Um, this is more just so the client can see it on a video. Um, anyway, so that's all done. Um, we're working on some Tyranid artillery pieces for Planet Strike. Well, I really like the Planet Strike rules, but I really, I really feel like I need to represent other armies or some other stuff. So this is an artillery gun that we're using. We found it as um, the, uh, the, the artillery cannons from Planet Strike. And then we're going to sell this particular figure with um, some Aegis defense lines for Tyranids that we're going to build. Um, and then we're going to sell all that in a set, probably for like 15 or 20 bucks. Um, so we'll be putting those up on eBay very, very soon. Um, as you can see, it's just a couple of Venom cannons down to the back of the Starship Trooper Bug, Carnifex Head, which we have yeah. plenty of. Um, fortunately, it's a little out of scale, uh, but I think for our purposes, it works okay. Um, we always have plenty of Carnifex Heads left over, so that's never that hard to come across. Um, I don't think it's, it's too bad. Um, it kind of works out all right. Um, we have, we have another Dominatrix. Uh, this one's going to a client in the UK. Um, for those who haven't seen this before, um, this is a kit bash from a variety of model kits. Um, this one in particular, um, we're, getting we're getting a lot better at the process, um, so it's a much sturdier model. As you can see, it's mounted very well to the base. It's not going anywhere. All the joints are reinforced with glue and then reinforced with gray stuff, so they're very, very strong. Um, the cannon here on the back is a, is a, is a space jockey kit, kit, and then we use a chair and a warrior head to sort of seal that all in there and sound it out. Um, it's armor plates all the way across and on the shoulders here. It's got massive siding towns, massive rending like claws, the big cannon and stuff. And this client likes that we sell and throw like plates along the head, which I think are a nice addition to. Um, this model ran a client about $200 plus uh, $15 for head plating and another 50 for shipping to the UK. So 265 That's not bad, you know, for a model this size. Obviously, a fourth world model of this scale, probably, probably you won't even be able to get higher font used on eBay for that amount. Um, and to get this one brand new, ready to paint, is a pretty nice, pretty nice touch. Um, the base is you know, a massive 20 inch oval, um, which is nice because I think it fits on the table well. The oval, the advantage of the oval basing is obviously that you can move it across the table without bumping into as many pieces of terrain as usual. Um, these, these are some bases we're working on. Everyone's in the base game, so I decided to join forces. I saw this client who had these summoning circles painted on his demon army bases, and I thought it was a really clever idea for summoning circles. So I decided to go ahead and do my own. Um, so these are basically uh, 
all bases that were cast in resin, and each of them has summoning circles. Some of them we put them in the center, some of them we put them on the edges. Um, we just kind of mixed it up, and we've got a variety of bases, both for Warhammer and 40K. We've got 40 millimeter rounds, 40 millimeter, uh, 50 millimeter squares, we've got you know, 30 millimeter rounds, we've got cavalry bases, we've got all sorts of different stuff. Um, you know, we don't have on this as any 40 millimeter square, so we'll have to add one of those to this. Um, anyway, so you know that'll be up very very soon. Um, this snake uh, is a uh, custom piece we're doing for my Pathfinder game. There's a large snake creature in the Pathfinder world that uh, it's in one of the bestiaries, and um, it's basically like a cobra, but he has several sets of eyes. His cowl ends in three different tendrils, and his tail ends in three different segments. We didn't do all that. We wanted something sort of quick and easy, sort of a nice simple proxy, so we came up with this. It's a kit batch from several different kits. I had lying around. I had this tail piece from a giant scorpion back from. King Kong kit, um, and we, and we blended, blended that in with this head from, from um, uh, what we call a razor horn dragon from Dragonheart. This tail, this tail is a Tyranid tail, and then the other part of the tail is a Nexu tail from Star Wars. So all that, so all that blends together, we're going to put that on this 130 millimeter base, and then we're going to put a you know, series of crystals here in the center of it, because that's kind of how they can pick up the codex. Or the codex in the army book. So I think that'll be a nice little piece. Uh, it'll be nice and simple. We'll probably use that in game or sell it on eBay, I'm not really sure which yet. Um, oh, and finally, we've got a we have two more consignment armies coming up. Um, these will be up on the block in the next couple of days. Um, this particular client has been sending us stuff for a while, uh, so um, you know he, he has just tons of old stuff. So and it was all it's basically all unpainted. So these are some old vampire counts, some old orc boys, an old chariot chari over there. Um, so he's got more. He's got a ton of vampire counts in this one. I've already seen the inventory. Um, more orc boys. Um, anyway, so that's basically all new stuff. But it's, uh, it's old stuff. You know, it'll it'll have to go. With so we offer consignment services for clients who are interested. When you consign an army, all you're really doing is just allowing us to sell off your old models. Here's another client who sent in his army. He had a Blood Angel army, but what he does is he does it in an orange and black theme. Um, so here's several squads of Tech Marines. Um, he's got veterans. He's got it looks like a Tech Marine in there um, and all that stuff. And that's just his basic. That's just the basic troop fodder. He's actually got quite a bit of his painting. Um, let me see if I can show you some of it. Yeah. So here's his color scheme. It's kind of a tiger stripe. Um, now the advantage to his army is he actually used bits from the uh, Space Wolf, Space Wolf line, the Dark Angel line, and the Blood Angel line. So the army can really count as just about anything. Um, uh, he's magnetized some of the bits, so here's a rhino that's painted up. Yeah, it's pretty well. Just needs some, he just needs some finishing work. Um, here's a bald predator that's completely unpainted. That will probably be sold separately. Um, He's got magnetized sponsons in here. Um, he's, got, he's got several land raiders down there, you can see. Um, and in one of these bags, he's got, um, what do you call it, is it a storm lord? Uh, let me see if I can get to that real quick. That bag's kind of a conundrum. So uh, here's some drop pods. Uh, the drop pods are very, very well done, I think. Um, so as you can see inside, it's even detailed inside. It's got some detailing there on the center console. There's some weathering effects here on the side. So what we're probably going to do is sell the this tiger army all as probably one lot. Um, it's just one, one massive sale lot. Uh, we'll probably sell some of the stuff separately. Um, like he's got um, uh, what do you call it, a storm lord in here somewhere. There it is. Let's see if we can get to it. Managing anything else. All right. Now the cannon is is in the package, so we'll put that on. And all, and all the magnetized bits are there too. But as you can see, the tiger stripe pattern I think actually really works. It's kind of nice. Um, if you have an extra army you're looking to sell, consignment's a great option. You can contact me at Caleb at WhiteMetalGames.com. But what we basically do is we take your old models, we put them up on eBay, and sell them for you, and then you end up earning about 70% of the value of the sale. So if the model sells for 100 bucks, you end up getting about 70 of that after fees and services. And I can explain all that to you through email. Um, so if you're interested in 
reconciling your army or having a model commissioned or painted, just contact me at caleb at whitemetalgames.com. Uh, I've actually got one more model. I'll show you real quick. It's a Storm Lord. I'm going to be painting up the line in the next couple days. So you'll be seeing this model painted up in the next video in the next couple days. Um, so after that, and, and until then, you know, have a good week. Have a good week.